Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is Tatiana from Lux Health. Thanks so much for dropping by. This video is going to be a review on multiple waist trainers. So if you're in the market for, to buy a waist trainer, you don't really know which kind you wanna get, you don't really know much about waist trainers, this will be the video to watch. So this has been a, a video that I have been telling you guys that I've been planning on bringing out for a while, but the problem is some of these waist trainers I've had to purchase. So I've been purchasing waist trainers from Amazon, the top waist trainers, top brands, so I could compare them, but they all come in at different times. So I'm still currently waiting for two waist trainers to get to my house, but I decided to go ahead and do this review anyways. Um, and then I'll just make a follow-up video with the other waist trainers later down the road when they do arrive. So right now I've got uh, two, four, six different kinds of waist trainers to try for you. Um, a lot of them are like corset waist cinchers. Um, I have a bodysuit and then I also have a postpartum body wrap. So lots of variety and if you guys uh, are interested, stay tuned for this video. It may be a little bit long, I don't know, probably, right? Um, but I'm really gonna go into detail and I'm gonna analyze five key things. Um, I've also worn each waist trainer for at least two weeks. So that's also why this video has taken me a while to bring out because I did want to try these waist trainers and I did want to give you my honest opinion on them and how effective they are. So you can know that it's not my first time wearing them, although with the postpartum, I just received this, this is still in the box and I'm going to be unboxing it for you. But um, the rest of them I have been wearing and I will tell you how effective they are. So I'm going to analyze five key features on each and I'm going to rate them from one to ten. Comfort, quality, effectiveness, how well it hides under your clothing, because I know that's a big factor for a lot of us women, and cost. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into it. And I'm going to start off with the first waist trainer. So this waist trainer is by Pandola on Amazon.com. Pandola waist trainer. Um, and so the cost, how much does it cost? This waist trainer sells for $24.99 US. You've probably seen this in some of my videos or in my Snapchat because I have been wearing it, wearing it to the gym and stuff. So I always like to start from the bottom up. I suck in as much as possible and I'm putting it on the first clasp because it's pretty small. So as you can see already, this waist trainer is a little bit too long for my torso. So I'm already under my bust and I still have got all of this. So I'm going to pull it down as far as possible. <sighs> it's really a tight one. So these are all various sizes too, keep in mind. This is the smallest one I have. Uh, and I'm going to try and get this all the way up. I've been wearing this waist trainer. I'll tell you first of all, it's too long for my torso so when you are buying waist trainers keep in mind that you have to check number one the size of the waist trainer by measuring your waist and number two the length of the waist trainer by measuring your torso you don't want to forget the torso part because when the waist trainer is too long like this it's going to really jab under your bust and not be comfortable so uh comfort level i'm going to rate this a I'll rate this about a 7 out of 10 um, just because it is too long for my body and it doesn't really fit me properly at all. Um, and let's get into quality. So quality of this waist trainer, the material is very thin. So I'm going to pull my phone off. I'm going to show you here. So the material of this waist trainer, you can see, is look how thin that is. So it doesn't look very good quality. So here the clasps are very small and they're not very much distance apart. So that's something I really look for in a waist trainer because the further distance it is apart, the longer longevity I'll have for that waist trainer. I'll be able to wear it longer, um, whereas this one, I won't be able to wear it that long. I'm going to get to the third class pretty quickly and then I'm going to have to buy another one. So it's going to cost me more money in the end. Um, here you notice it's just 
the boning is just one stitch. It's not, not double stitched, which means that it is um, not the best quality. It's pretty breakable. You could, if you machine wash this thing, you probably break it, probably get destroyed. Um, here you can see the stitching inside. It doesn't have anything for comfort. It's not really geared towards comfort. And then you can see here, probably one of the most important parts is the wrinkling. So now it is contributed, the fact that it's too long for me, but this wrinkling should disappear when I take the waist trainer off. There shouldn't be wrinkling. But because it's not high quality, the wrinkling stays. And so you've got this, you know, every time you bend, you've got wrinkling here, you've got wrinkling here, and it's just not really good. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I take this off there's still going to be wrinkles here, which is not a good thing. Um, and discretion, I'm gonna jump, jump right into discretion of this waist trainer. Um, you can wear this one under clothes pretty easily. Because it is thin, it's easy to hide. But because of the wrinkling, if you're gonna wear a tight shirt, you're gonna see it. So the wrinkling on the back, the wrinkling on the front, it's just, it's just not really um, the best to conceal under clothing. So for that, let me take it off now and I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna rate effectiveness while I'm taking this off. The only reason that I would say that this is really an effective waist trainer is because it's so tight. And the tighter a waist trainer is, the better it's gonna work on your body. It may be uncomfortable, but it's gonna work better. But as far as quality goes, I don't think it's gonna be any better, or any more effective than any other. So this is what I'm talking about with, uh, with wrinkling. So you can see here how it's so thin that the material just stays in this position. And if you stretch it out, it's just, you know, it, lo it loses its structure. And structure is so important in a waist trainer because that's what is going to give you the good posture. That's what's going to help you with the curves, everything. For quality, I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10. For effectiveness, I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10. Uh, because, you know, wearing a waist trainer, any waist trainer is better than no waist trainer, obviously. Um, and it's going to still suck in your belly fat. Um, just, um, cost is actually the cheapest at $24.99, so it is a cheaper waist trainer, which is fair enough. But again, in the long run, you're gonna spend more money because you're gonna have to invest in another waist trainer sooner um, if it breaks or because the clasps aren't separated far enough. And uh, how well does it hide under your clothes? I would rate it probably an eight out of 10. So those are my uh, ratings for this waist trainer. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Blue one over here, and this waist trainer is by FX Ford. Um, also available on amazon.com. This sells for $25.99. So just uh, a dollar more than the last one. But I will tell you that it is better quality. So this one is a little bit too big for me. You can see here already inside there is less rippling than there is with the other one. There's still rippling. I mean, every waist trainer is gonna have a bit. It's not going to be a structured corset, um, but it's less. Um, but it does feel very thin. So when I, when I grab a waist trainer for the first time, I'm not looking for thin material. I'm looking for thicker material because when it's thicker material, you know that um, there's more layers. I like how it is comfortable. So comfort level, I feel very comfortable in it. So I'd rate this about, I'd rate this an eight out of 10 for comfort. Quality though, we have the same issue that we did with the other waist trainer. You can see they're still very small. So these, the smaller they are, the more fragile they are. If you're really having a hard time clipping it on, these could break too. These ones could bend. So I would like thicker hooks. Um, also the lining is single lining, it's not double lined. And in here the stitching isn't that great. So it's very 
flexible. Like the boning feels like it's almost useless. For the effectiveness of this waist trainer, I'm going to say it's a seven out of 10. Probably a six out of 10 actually. So it's not very effective. Um, and this one does hide well under clothing just because it is thin again. So the thinner it is, the easier it is to hide under clothing, but at the same time, it's kind of less effective. So I'd rather have something that's thicker. Um, and cost wise, it is uh, also, it's the second cheapest waist trainer. So at this point, you're seeing that you're getting what you're paying for. Now this is the waist trainer I wear most, pretty much every single day. Um, and as you can see here, it looks like it has been the least worn. So you don't see any rippling. It's very sleek. When you feel it, you can see, look how thick it is. It's a lot thicker. The material feels a lot stronger. Um, if I can describe it, I would describe it as almost like a wetsuit. It kind of feels like that. Um, so this one sells for $27.99. And I'm gonna link a 20% off coupon below for you guys. So <laughs> when I first received this, it's heavy. It's a thicker material. It's probably the thickest out of all of them. Um, and if you look here, so we have the double stitching on the boning. The V's are separated and they're a lot thicker than the previous. See the difference? That's a difference in quality. So that's what you wanna keep your eyes out for. There's also a Facebook community for people who buy this waist trainer and for everybody who is interested in waist training, just a community of people who like the act of waist training so you can join. It's Curvilicious Waist Training Dolls on Facebook. It's a private group, so you need to be accepted to be in. It's very comfortable. So this is the first thing I will tell you. This waist trainer, I could wear this waist trainer all day, which I do all day long, and I have no comfort issues. I, When I was working at the bank, I would be sitting down all the time, and it still never had any comfort issues. I feel like I'm getting a lot better back support. I feel like the boning is a lot better and just a lot more rigid, uh, which is important in a waist trainer. Um, okay, quality. I think I talked about quality, but I'm gonna rate it a nine out of 10. Comfort, I'm gonna rate it, I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10, because I really, I wear this all the time. And effectiveness. So this waist trainer is the one that I started off with. It's the one that I wear all the time. The other ones I have been wearing frequently, but recently, and I still, Think that this one is really what helped me uh, lose a couple inches in my waist so effectiveness it works so 10 out of 10 how well does it hide under clothing if you look here there's barely any rippling which the other one had like a bunch of rippling right there right so that's really good to hide under clothing it's very smooth but it is thicker so it doesn't hide as well and it is a pink color so obviously when you have something if you're gonna wear that's white, the pink is going to show a lot easier than if you were to wear like a nude waist trainer or a white waist trainer. Um, but if you're wearing colored clothing, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, this waist trainer is definitely my favorite. Cost is not too bad at $27.99 and you can get 20% off, so it's not bad. And then you join a community of people who are waist trainers and you can become friends. So I love this waist trainer. The, all of these waist trainers you can only get on, actually I'm not sure if you can only get them, but most of them you can only get them on Amazon.com. And Darling Waist Trainer at $28.99. So, so far the most expensive, a dollar more than the Curvilicious, or two dollars more, yeah, a dollar more than the Curvilicious Waist Trainer. It is a latex one. So what are the differences? So this one is going to be better to store heat in your body. It's going to make you sweat more. Um, it's got more thermogenic purposes, um, but it definitely is a lot more intense. Um, quality wise, my first thoughts is it's great quality. You can see the hooks are very separated. Um, good quality hooks. These are definitely sturdy. The boning looks good. The stitching looks good. So. I'm happy with the quality of this waist trainer. It didn't come with any instructions on how to put it on, and I'll show you that it's definitely not the same as the other ones. So the other ones, I'm able to hook it from the bottom, but when you hook this from the bottom, the hooks are a little bit weird. 
Don't you love when you're recording a video and then you didn't actually record anything? It's just great. So I don't even know where I ended on that note, um, but I'm gonna go back to my ratings. So comfort, I'm gonna rate it a six out of 10 because it's not very comfortable, it's giving me bruises. Actually, you know what, I should probably rate it a five out of 10, but six out of 10 because it's tolerable and because I'm someone who wears loose trainers regularly, so I'm used to it. Um, and this is something I could get used to too, uh, but I just don't like the fact that it gave me bruises. That's a little too far. Um, quality, definitely high quality. I like this. It's I feel like it's doing something. I feel like my body is getting tucked in. So 9 out of 10 on quality. Effectiveness, also 9 out of 10. How well does it hide in our clothing? Not very well because it does have ginormous hooks and it is latex and you can see these hooks through your clothing very easily. Um, so I'm going to rate that a 6 out of 10. And cost, it's $28.99, so that's not too bad, right? Cost is one of the one of the cheaper ones too. So this is a great waist trainer. Um, the differences between this and my other favorite, which is the Curvalicious waist trainer, is that this they're different materials, right? So this one I would say that you could wear this every single day, wear it to work, wear it to the gym, wear it wherever. This one I wouldn't wear 24-7. I would wear this one strictly when I'm doing exercise, I think, because I feel like that's where you get the most thermogenic effects. And because it is latex, it's going to heat up. It's gonna hold in heat on your stomach area. When you take it off, you're gonna be sweaty like crazy there. So this is good for if you're going on a walk, if you're going to the gym, um, just for that time, because you're not gonna last all day in this. It's not one of those comfortable ones like this where you can last all day. You know, it's actually good to invest in both because you can get both effects. You can wear this one at the gym and this one throughout the rest of the day. So this is a project that I have not tried yet. I am not pregnant, but I thought I would get it because it's perfect for women who are po postpartum and who are looking for something like a waist trainer to use. But instead of a waist trainer, they have products specific for postpartum bellies that are a little bit more gentle and sensitive to the tenderness of the abdomen and how fragile it is after the postpartum experience, you know? So this is a postnatal belly band, but Mama, Mama Way, Mama Way, Mama Way. Um, and it is a belly band, postnatal recovery and support. It comes in two sizes, small, medium, and uh, small, medium, and large, like extra large, I think. And it gives you instructions on how to do it. Looks like it's from China because there's, I think, Chinese writing on it. And so this is how it looks. This is a pricey one. So this is a hundred dollars. So it's definitely something that you want to see in a review before you purchase which is what I'm doing for you today. Pie ho, so it's made from bamboo charcoal tech, just like my client. Okay, it smells really weird. <laughs> Maintaining body temperature. The structure of Taiwan bamboo charcoal provides natural minerals which absorb moisture, reduce odor. Bamboo charcoal yarn will not be affected by repeated washing. So essentially it's the same type of effect trying to achieve as you are with the waist trainer. You're trying to cinch the waist so that you can get maximum, um, you can lose, so that you can lose uh, as much body fat as possible. You can perspire toxins out of your body through your sweat, and you can train your abs and your abdomen to be tight. So you put it on like this, and you wrap it. So I'm gonna say first of all, I like that it's totally customizable. So the size, you predict the size based on how far. So if I was bigger now, I would put it there. I'm gonna put it as tight as possible and put it there. So that's cool. Then you take the lower strap and you wrap it on the bottom half of your belly and the upper strap on the top half of your belly. Okay, you know what? This is a great, um, this is a great idea. So I always recommend waist training for women postpartum because 
This is something that actually has run through my family for generations. They've always waist trained in the form of using cloth and they would wrap their bellies for three months after giving birth and it would really, really help. Um, a lot of women are scared about it, but obviously you wanna get doctor's approval first. So this is kind of like the, now the high tech version of wrapping yourself with cloth, right? And it's less, um, less extreme than the waist trainers which would, may not be as comfortable for the sensitive and delicate skin of a belly that has been stretched out for nine months. Uh, so this is good, it's very soft, it's very comfortable. You cannot sit with it. So this is not gonna be good for sitting. This will be weird. So, okay, let's go with the five things. Comfort, it's very comfortable, nine out of 10. I know you're probably wondering what is it gonna take to make it a 10 out of 10? And it's gonna have to be something that's like insanely comfortable. Um, quality, very nice, I like it, but um, I don't like the smell. Let me see the quality. The Velcro. I mean, I don't really know much about these things, so I can't really rate the quality, you know, as much as I can with the waist trainers where I do know a lot about them. So I'm gonna skip that. Effectiveness, again, how am I supposed to know? I'm not the one who just had a baby be good for somebody else to try but I'm sure that they work because I know that like I said it's something that's been passed down through my family people do this this is what they do after they have birth and they've got these jump right back into their figures before birth um discretion how easy is it to hide I would say like a five out of ten I don't think you can really hide this it's bulky it's thick it makes noise when you move um it's just like yeah, it's not something that you're gonna hide. You probably might actually want to wear this over your clothes. Cost, ooh, it's pretty expensive, about 100 bucks US. This is a costly one. Um, I don't think it's worth $100, but I guess because it's a niche market, there's not that many people selling these things, so you're gonna have to pay more for it. Um, but honestly, you could just buy a waist trainer and put some foam under the waist trainer where your belly would be. So that's an option too, if you wanna save on cost. But other than that, this would be very comfortable for you and it's probably safer. Um, I'm sure if it's meant for, for postpartum women, it's been tested uh, and approved. So I hope that's true. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks, guys. You can tell me what you think, it's pretty, uh, Pretty big, it's a pretty big thing. Um, but I definitely think it's comfortable. I don't think it's good to sit with, cause look, you've got like this jabs in here. But um, this is an option. This is another type of waist cinching garment. This is a full body suit. So I bought this um, because I knew that some people wanted me to review this particular item, but I really don't like it. So this is the zipper here and these are the shorts. Look how small it is, by the way. Um, and so you wear this full suit under your clothes and it acts as like a full body slimming thing. But it's really not that great. So I don't really feel like trying it on. Maybe I should. I don't think it's necessary, guys. Honestly, if you want to have a sleeker look under your clothing, go for it. But if you really want to waist train and feel like you're tightening your, your waist, go for the waist trainers over here. So this was kind of a waste of money, but it was the Leonisa at $59.99. So $60 for this bodysuit. And this actually goes under your bust. So you still have to wear a bra with it on. And it's, they're very short shorts, so the shorts actually kind of ride up. And then there's a little hole there to go pee, which is a little weird. So I'm not impressed with wearing something like this. But again, for those who are interested, um, it is comfortable other than this. I really don't like this thing here because you can get, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean. So that's it for the waist trainers today. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, and I hope that this video was informative for you. Stick around for next week's video or the week after. I'm not sure when I'll be releasing it because I am going to be uh, 
I am going to be reviewing the Miss Belt, the Anne Sherry Waist Trainer, and the Yana, Yana Waist Trainer. So those are another three popular brands on Amazon. Um, and that's because some people on YouTube have recommended these for me. So if you guys want me to review something, doesn't matter what it is, you can comment below and I'll review it. I'll purchase it myself. So anyways, this is a really long video. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me on this waist trainer journey. It's been fun trying them all. And I hope that you guys um, can use my reviews for your personal preferences. Let me know which waist trainer you're going with. Remember the Curvalicious waist trainer, my favorite, is down below with a 20% discount for you. And let me know your thoughts, okay? Bye.